What's up YouTube? I busted my knee two days ago from the training that you just saw but I'm gonna go in to the gym here Mission Parkour Park Tokyo I'm just gonna do some rehabilitating exercises try to get my body up and running yesterday and the day before I had trouble walking as my knee was really really painful but today is starting to feel a bit better let's go in there and get some work done like one hour or something like that before I have to go drink coffee with a very close friend he says there's a coffee place that is the best ever so we're going to get a cup of coffee and I'm going to bring you guys with me so today will actually be the first day where I'm doing anything else than walking so I'm going to test it out with some tiny plyometric jumps and some tiny running Seems okay. Alright, so <clears throat> I just tried like running slowly. That seems totally fine. And that's a very, very good sign that my knee is not bad. One thing I noticed is that when I try to run a little bit faster, if I try to push hard from my left leg, that's where it hurts. So today I think it's, I'm going to keep it very light so I can train in a few days again. One thing that I have noticed about recovery as I've been injured for God knows how long, I've trained for 13 or 14 years almost and I've been injured for almost all of that time. It's only this past year that has been better. I have completely switched up my training and I also understand now that injuries, you have to overcome injuries by movement I and by being specific with your movement. So if you are trying to become good at parkour, doing slow movement and doing a lot of lifting where you're lifting slowly uh, and doing a ton of repetitions is not the thing that I would recommend and it's also the thing that had made me stay injured for a while because you kept training to not be injured and you can't chase not being injured you can't chase pain free there will always be pain and being a better athlete means that you learn how to cope with pain and how to deal with it and one way to deal with pain has been to change my mindset about pain as well let's try some tiny plyometrics now i think those types of plyometrics is going to be my maximum because i feel them in the knee but they're not too bad but i should be pushing my body a little bit and get some blood into that area. So let's do a little bit more of this. One type of training that you can do daily and I wouldn't really classify it as training is just walking, biking or something like that where you're only bringing blood flow to the area. To know that it doesn't feel like hardcore training or training you can do it at a tempo where you can breathe through your nose. If you can breathe through the nose and you do it for 30 to 45 minutes a day, I totally recommend that. Let's try some one leg hops. Like it's actually okay, but I shouldn't be doing too much of this today. I'm gonna hold on to stuff and then try to get into the position that hurts. So this is where it hurts a lot. This is where it hurts even more uh, here is where it hurts the most. So I'm just gonna try to like try to jump from those positions but use my hands as much as I can so that I can get faster back to my sport. I want to be very specific with this type of training as I want to be training parkour fast again. That's very challenging, but it's not painful. It just feels like it's tight, the area. Right now, I'm just trying to teach you what I've been doing lately, and it seems to have worked for me very well. Get back to your sport as soon as you can. Use a thing that is called progressive overload, meaning that you gradually increase the load or the intensity at which you're training at. And another thing is load management. 
To simplify that, it basically means how much do you train each week or during a period. So if you're used to training a lot, but you've gotten injured, ease down the load and it should get better. Another thing I have learned about injuries is also perception. The way that you see your injury, when it happens, as it happens, can also determine if you get any trauma related to that injury. So if you feel like it is the end of the world, it will probably affect you in a bad way. But if you feel like you're going to be able to overcome it, then you're most likely going to be able to overcome it. You hear so many people who overcome injuries that they shouldn't be able to overcome. I'm gonna do two more sets of these as they feel quite nice and then I'm gonna do a little bit more bouncing and some pull-ups and push-ups. The push-ups are going to be very weird as I am training for something specific with them. It actually feels like it's loosening up a bit because the first few reps I did it cracked a lot and now it seems like it's getting smoother. So that is I think I pushed a little bit too hard on this one. Let's move on to a little bit more of plyo training, plyometric stuff. The more soft and not so deep ones. Honestly, I think that's it for this type of training. Now I will be just jogging back and forth for like 15 minutes just to get like my blood flowing and my body warm and hopefully that will help me recover faster. Probably really boring to see. So let's just skip to the training. All right, so don't you dare make fun of me. Try to be in like a monkey position. And then from here, push up. And it's actually a bit hard. So I'm gonna do like three or four reps and then a little break and then keep doing that for maybe Four times or something like that. Four or five times. It's actually really hard. Damn. So I will also be doing regular pull-ups. But when you train, my from my experience, when you train parkour, when you train any sports that high, that's high impact and fast, you want to try to be as fast as possible. So I will focus on doing fast reps and then the slow, the down part can be slowed down. Here's something that's going to be boring to some of you. But the people who train like sports that have speed and stuff like that, there's a thing that people normally take three to five minutes breaks between each set of their training. And that is because your body needs time to recover. Otherwise you're actually not training at the fastest capacity that you can. That will mean that you're actually not training speed. So I started training with three to five minute breaks between each set and then I do more sets and I keep it three to five repetitions. And that has changed my training completely. I am usually more pain free than ever. Not right now because I obviously failed. I can train for longer. I can jump further. I'm going to skip Okay, I'm going to skip the stretching because I'm low on time. 
low on time. I don't even know if that's a word, but I don't have so much time. So I need to grab some quick food. And then I'm gonna head on the bus. So let's bust that up. So let's bust that shit up. What the fuck? Okay, let's just go. Today's breakfast, we got chicken, rice, some kimchi kind of thing, and then a banana. And that's it. <laughs> Samurai. It looks so beautiful. <laughs> Just this. Whoa, they even give you vodka shots. <laughs> it's syrup. <laughs> it's syrup. <laughs> He's small milk. They're so cute. Okay, so this is Masahito's favorite coffee shop. Let's see how good it is. It comes in a perfect popper glass. Mm. Wow, it tastes good. Yeah. It has a little bit a uh, tea tea taste. Mm. You know the brown tea that you get at restaurant? I don't know remember the name. Udon tea. Yeah, udon. Ah. Chop the udon tea. Oh. It is now a few days after injury, maybe four or five days after I hurt my knee. I'm going to be training very lightly today. So this vlog for some of you might be a bit boring but if some of you are interested in seeing how i train when i'm injured or when i have just recently had an injury then this is what you should be watching start off with some light jogging get the blood flowing and after that we're going to do some light plyos and gradually scale it until we do some parkour So the hard part about injury and recent injury is that you will be in some sort of pain. And from my understanding of pain is instead of giving it characteristics like bad or good or whatever you, you feel like pain is, the thing that has helped me a lot is understanding that pain is just a feeling in the body and that if you give it a bad characteristic, it's going to have much more value than it actually does. So the, thir the thing I try to do is just recognize this pain as a new type of feeling in my body and understanding that this feeling will be there for a certain period of time after an injury, after a new injury. Recently I hurt my butt from like, I was doing a climb and then I was about to fall but I hit my butt on like some sharp edge. Uh, I didn't give that experience power so I didn't let it get to me and I didn't think, I didn't make a big deal out of it when it happened and I recovered very quickly. Of course I still feel it sometimes when I train but it is much less than it would have been if I had told myself this is very bad i just injured myself for now i have to understand that my body is in a bit of pain and it want it wants to be left a little bit alone but you have to push it a bit to where it doesn't hurt too much you have to be a little you can't be too careful because otherwise you're going to be living in pain forever It doesn't feel like I'm in pain. It feels like it's a bit tight. It feels like it needs uh, blood to the area. It needs to get used to movement again and it needs trust. So it needs to be able to trust that what happened, like the running precision fail that I did, is not that bad as it felt. So that is what I'm going to be trying to do now and just gradually increase with progressive overload so you start slowly and then you get stronger and stronger and stronger and more and more pain-free but 
after an injury, you're not going to be completely pain-free for a while. So it is okay to train to a certain degree. But training in very bad pain is not something that I recommend because that is how, for me, usually I have ended up in chronic pain. When you're training your plyometrics like these, and when you're training ground contact and like trying to be fast in plyometrics, don't have that like old school mentality of having to be soft. You're trying to push your ankles, you're trying to push your knees. So by having short contact time and trying to push off the floor really hard and just doing it at a lower level, you're going to strengthen your ankles and your knees. Uh, and that is something that is super important in parkour. It is that you're able to both be completely soft when landing and when doing these types of things and also being able to take off very hard and being super like strong and super steady in the body. So you need to have both to be a really good athlete. After that, I'm going to be doing some one leg things, but I just need a little bit of break. Two things you need to be a top level athlete, a banana and water. That was of course just a joke, okay? Also my good friend Masahito, he taught me how to do um, like jumping on the trampoline and landing on the back. From the back doing like a front flip, full twist and landing on the back again. And I've been wanting to do that for so long and he taught me how to. All right, let's get to the one leg jumping. So <clears throat> when you do the one leg jumping, you want to try to push off the floor hard with one leg. And then as you take off, you want to lift the knee and then go down and push again. And in the last rep over there that I just had, my ankle kind of gave up a little bit. For me, that's something that happens once in a while. I still haven't understood why it happens. But in the past, I used to give it a lot of power. So when it happened, I would think, oh, I'm injured now. Now I just understand. Sometimes it happens and it doesn't usually happen during like hardcore stuff. It can happen anytime. It happens when I'm, for example, if I'm walking, if I'm running slowly, if I'm doing exercises like this. But when I do like, when I'm fully focused, then it doesn't happen. Banana. One thing I really don't feel like doing today is pushing my knee in like more bent positions as that's where it hurts a little bit more. But I need to do it and I need to do it of course in a scaled version because fully doing like a pistol squat or something like that hurts. But it is super necessary that you push yourself when you're injured. And I don't mean it in the, like, the way where you're training. You just keep training in pain and you, be, you develop like chronic pain that's not going to help you and it's going to take a lot of time to get back on track after that i'm talking about like some pain right now i understand my body so i know the thing that just happened uh, was just a mix of shock and high impact on one leg and without the shock that high impact would probably ha not have had any effect on me but because it was mixed with like shock and i thought something bad had happened then it had a bigger impact on me than it would have needed to. All right, last of these one leg thing. Maybe I can do some precisions as well. First precision like this in a while. I'm probably not gonna do too much of this, but it feels amazing to jump again. So now, ooh, that hurt a little bit. But now, as I'm jumping, 
the first type of repetition was a lot of arms. Now I'm trying to push hard from the floor, which seemed to work okay until the last rep. You guys don't understand how fun it is to train after being injured. Small injuries like this, they make you appreciate movement in general so much. You know what? My body is starting to feel better. Let's do stuff. Since I came to Japan, that was one of the things I really wanted to do. I didn't think I was gonna train today at all, and then I just end up doing something like that. Let's go. Let's go! I'm so happy that I actually got to train today. I warmed up properly and I felt it was okay. So I'll be back to training hard again in no time. Thank you so much for watching please engage with the video if you liked it thank you for watching all the way through here like comment subscribe put the bell notification so you know when i'm posting and also any super thanks and all these things will be very 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 appreciated thank you so much for watching guys peace out until next time